Every so often you hear about regular people doing amazing things under the most intense pressure. It happened this week in Wisconsin. Bob Orr has the story of one woman who saved herself when her husband was stricken in midair. Helen and John Collins were married for 58 years. When visiting family, they often didn't drive, they flew in a twin-engine Cessna like this one. John was an experienced pilot, averaging 250 flight hours each summer. But late Monday afternoon, while flying to see one of their sons, something went terribly wrong. Helen realized John had lost consciousness. With little flight experience of her own, and none with this particular plane, the 80-year-old woman took over the controls. Captain Chesley Sullenberger knows something about dangerous flights and emergency landings. She obviously had paid attention when her husband was flying the airplane, and then she was able to master her fear. Helen Collins called 911, and police dispatchers alerted the FAA. They said uh, a lady up in her airplane her husband was a pilot, and she thinks she's having a heart attack. She thinks she's not really able to fly the plane right now. Helen was circling at 2,400 feet over northeastern Wisconsin when Robert Vuksanovich, a licensed pilot from Sturgeon Bay, flew to her rescue. As I was coaching her through the configuration change, we call it putting the flaps down, putting the gear down, and adjusting the power, I was doing the same in my aircraft. By flying in formation, essentially, and keeping his airplane near hers, he'd be able to judge her speed and altitude and rate of descent simply by watching his instruments without having her have to tell him what hers was. And that was a, a critical point of, in this. He coached her through several practice runs before she headed for an emergency landing. After a bumpy touchdown, Helen's plane skidded across a grassy area, then glided onto the runway, coming to a stop with its nose on the ground. She did a great job. It, it, the timing was perfect. John Collins never regained consciousness and was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. But Helen survived with only minor injuries, a remarkable, heroic feat that her son called just unbelievable. Bob Orr, CBS News, Washington. Her son's right. It is unbelievable that you could do that in the way that they choreographed the other airplane. Yeah, and, and imagine, remarkable. too, the composure she must have had mm -hmm. in knowing that her husband was next to her, knowing that he'd been stricken, and yet having the, the wherewithal and the focus, focus to be able to yeah. follow that. Pretty, pretty amazing lady.